Time now for another check on our weather. Meteorologist Vanessa Murdoch is back with a look at the first alert forecast. Yesterday was nice. Today actually turned out to be sunny and gorgeous outside. Yeah, it's beautiful this afternoon. Just some clouds and a few sprinkles well to the north of the city. But man, soak it up. Yes. The sun is still out. We've got about 35 more minutes before the sun officially sets at 40. And uh, at that point in time, we'll have to say goodbye to the warmth. Not to the sunshine, though. We'll see plenty of sun. Some clouds, too, moving forward. Live outside right now. It is a beautiful end to this St. Patrick's Day. 60 degrees right now. Sunset is at 7.05. Your headlines, much cooler temps are on route as we speak, and there will also be a lingering breeze. Tomorrow, we have an enhanced fire risk because of the breeze, but also because the relative humidity will be low. Something to keep in mind. Please be very thoughtful about how you dispose of any cigarettes, especially tomorrow. All right, let's talk about March. I know we're just about halfway through a little more than that. But as you look at this calendar, this reveals the average temperature as compared to normal for nearly every single day of the month. So far, temperatures have been soaring above seasonable, but now things are about to change. Here's a look at the temperature trend. Record setting warmth for some on Friday. Yesterday was 61. Today, 63. 50 degrees or high tomorrow, which is very much seasonable. We're not discounting that it's pretty normal, but compared to where we've been, it's a big drop off. Tuesday, even colder, 46 degrees, then Wednesday, 54. But it's not the complete picture. We also have to discuss wind chills, which we will do in just a minute. I want to show you that, relatively speaking, over the next week, the forecast is looking dry. Tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, a 20% chance of showers. Thursday, Friday, it is looking dry again. We do have a slight chance for a couple of snow showers to the north. Tomorrow, even Tuesday, but generally the forecast looks awfully, uh, shall we say, calm in comparison to what we've experienced at points in the past. All right, here's the situation. Cold front is rolling toward us, sparking a few sprinkles to the north of the city. It's behind this cold front that cold air begins diving in from Canada. Those wind arrows indicate, yeah, that flow of air. It is out of the west northwest and that will bring in the cooler air starting tonight and it will be in play tomorrow Tuesday as well hour by hour let's show you how things look through the overnight skies are generally going to be partly cloudy I expect to start your Monday off with ample sunshine and then we're going to see the clouds develop a bit more through the afternoon but it's not going to be cloudy per se we'll see a mix of sun and clouds here's a very slim chance of a passing snow shower that is what we have on Monday. Tuesday is actually pretty similar in how things, um, shall I say, roll along. Monday into Tuesday, too, we'll start off with sunshine, and then we'll see the clouds redevelop with that slight chance of the fairy areas north and west of a snow shower. Now let's talk about how it will feel to you. The wind will still be on the breezy side tomorrow. Bring the real feels down. When you go to work or school tomorrow morning, expect wind chills to be in the 30s and even 20s for some. 32 will be the real feel in the city tomorrow morning at 7.30. 28 is what it will feel like in Newburgh. By afternoon, keeping in mind that high is 50 with a mix of sun and clouds, but it's breezy. Feels closer to 44 in the city. Could feel as cold as 39 in Sparta, 36 in the Hamptons, and the freezing mark in Monticello. Tuesday morning is really the cold of the next seven. It's going to feel like 25 in the city. Could feel as cold as 15 in Monticello again. Tuesday morning's the real chilly start to the day. And then, you know, we'll slowly rebound. Spring starts Tuesday. Yes, the coldest day of the next seven is when spring officially begins at well past sunset after 11 p.m. at night on Tuesday. As far as your pollen goes, if you're a pollen or an allergy sufferer, you know that this is the case. Tree levels are extreme right now. Grass, ragweed, weeds are all very low. We do have moderate levels of mold at this point in the game. All right, let's check out your extended forecast. Tomorrow, we're going to look at sunshine to start more clouds by afternoon, 50 degrees with a bit of a breeze and that enhanced risk for fires. Tuesday, 46 degrees or high. That's after, of course, that very crisp start to the day. Mix of sun and clouds by afternoon as well. Maybe a snow shower. 54 degrees on Wednesday. So that's a nice bump up. We have that 20% chance of a shower. Thursday looking bright, beautiful, but 45 degrees. Then on Friday, it's 48. Saturday, hey, we're saying maybe there's some showers out there. We're going to keep an eye on this storm system that's actually right now looks to be off the coast, but could unfortunately throw some clouds and maybe a little moisture in our direction next weekend. But do you remember last weekend, I was saying how this weekend looked like we're going to have some rain. Yeah, you And did. it completely changed. So I'm just putting it out there that 
these things do change. It's still, so, uh, <laughs> it's a long way enough, off. Enough time. Yes, things exactly. can change. We'll, we'll let you know. Yeah, does. this weekend turned out to be really beautiful. I felt so happy for the runners of the half marathon. Yes, yes. Seeing them out there today at the park, you know, they were they were visibly thrilled that it wasn't pouring, pouring down, raining yes, on them. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Vanessa.